And it has happened in the past in the Bible when God gave a warning to his people to exit a city when it was about to be destroyed. There are several examples in the Bible when God told his people to exit. And the only ones who survived were the ones who believed and listened to the Lord. And the ones who didn't listen to the Lord were massacred. They were destroyed. They were killed like killing an animal. And their blood was, was thrown everywhere. And they were they killed from the children all the way to the old. And the pregnant women and everyone didn't escape the mercy of this evil man. And the ones who survived were the Christians who believed and listen to what the Lord foretold them. Okay, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Jesus warned his people, and you could read this in the book of Matthew 24. In Matthew 24, right now I'm just doing a message kind of fast but I haven't gonna go into details because it will take me low, more than 10 minutes to explain it but if you read it yourself in Matthew 24 Jesus warned them about the destruction of Jerusalem and told his disciples that not a stone will be left on top of a stone that everything was gonna get destroyed and through history we saw what happened we saw that the Roman Empire came to Jerusalem <clears throat> and they put their seal at the edge of the city, at the beginning of the city. And, the, and Jesus told them that they were going to put abomination in the holy place. If you do your history about the Jerusalem of the Jewish people, God's chosen in that time, now they are not the chosen of God anymore. God has chosen a different people. But that's not the message. The message is that the Lord told them that they were going to put an abomination symbol in the holy place. If you do your study about Jerusalem in that time, outside the main gates, they were closed in the cities. The city was sealed because the Roman Empire was coming to destroy them. They put a mark that the Roman Empire was coming in the holy place that it was outside the city. It looked like a, it was like a wind, excuse me, from an eagle that it would stand down from the people that were trying to come into the temple. They were not Christians. The Jewish people had a, a little wind outside the city. And it was supposedly a holy part of the temple that was inside the building. In the Roman Empire, they put their royal symbol at the edge of the wind. And it was a big old lance with the flag of the Roman Empire. And it has a lot of abomination symbols where pagan, the sun, the, the eagle, and... They all represent uh, different gods. So all the Jewish people thought that they were, the Roman Empire was leaving because they retreated. And some of them chased after them with swords and tried to kill some of them. And they thought they were being saved by God because they were retreating. And the rest of the... And when that happened, they opened the big gates. In, in Matthew 24, Jesus says, when you hear, when you see that the, the abomination that was placed in the holy place, it says that that's your signal to get out of the city. In all the Christians, they were not Jews, they believed what God said, they all fled when they saw the gates open, because they opened the gates. To run after the Roman Empire, some of the soldiers of the of Jerusalem at that time, 
and Jesus says, when you see that desolation, it caused a big desolation. You know, there was a big old desolation there. So everybody saw that desolation, and they saw the abomination in the holy place that was outside the city. Everybody ran out of those place. And Jesus warned them, if you're in the hills, don't come back to get you close to your house. Just yes, flee from there. If you're in the in the top of the house, on the roof, don't descend to get you close either. Just yes, leave from there. You gotta escape. And everyone escape. All the Christians escape. And the ones who got... And then they closed the doors again. And then the Roman Empire came with more reinforcements. And went and destroyed the city. And massacre everyone. Everyone got killed. And the whole city was bathed in blood. There was blood rolling through the streets of Jerusalem. Jerusalem got massacred. And God's purpose wasn't to have no one die. But they didn't listen to God. They stay in the city. And they got destroyed with the invasion of the Roman Empire. Okay, that was then. Now, what I'm saying, this is now. And you ask what desolation, what symbol we will see that will cause us to flee the cities. The warning that God gives us now through her spirit of prophecy is when they pass the National Sunday Law in this land, in the United States, when the government says we have to worship on this day, and this is the law now, and you gotta close your stores, and you're not allowed to sell or buy nothing on this day because this is the law now, and we're giving alliances with the Pope, and it's a law now. The Sunday will be the national day of rest for all of us. It's gonna be a day of reverence. That is the major message, and that's the warning for God's people to get out of the city. When you hear that, we have to exit the cities. But it's funny now because I see that they are preparing for these preparedness drills on July 27 to the 31st, that is next month. I wonder if this national sign the law will pass within before that happens or after the those drills. See, the devil knows what the warning signs are for God's people to exit the cities, but maybe he is gonna pass martial law first and then the National Sunday law will pass. Do your research on this because I'm not making this up. This is what the church has been pu pushing to pass. It has passed in Europe, Chile, Argentina, Brazil, um, Alaska, and I think it was passed in Salvador too. And they're pushing to pass it here. I saw it in the electoral Obama page. They were talking about that they have a lot of Sunday laws, but they want to establish one nationwide. I don't know. But I, I want to get out of the city because God warned his people in the past. And he's warning us now again. But that national Sunday law is an abomination to God. And we got to get out of the cities or we going to suffer the same faith that happened to the people in Jerusalem. The Jewish people that were massacred. This is happening because... Everyone is have forgotten that God is Lord and He is God and they are going a sinful nation. They're trying to they are trying to get rid of God in this country. This country was founded by people that were running from the persecutions of the Pope. I ran out of time. My message is to fear God and trust him trust in him. And the warning is to exit the cities before it's too late.